as mentioned, they're not the same uh, as uh, as generics. So, uh, because generics are small molecule, small molecule drugs that are easy to uh, replicate, and that's why you have so many generic drugs. The manufacturing process is easy. It's really on an assembly line rather than those big vats of uh, sort of petri dishes that uh, that are producing them. The other thing is just because their newer therapies, meaning that they've come on at a different stage, um, doesn't mean that they're necessarily better. But on the other hand, it, it, it could be that some of the bio biosimilars may have certain characteristics that are better than even the originator, uh, than the originator molecule. Now, we've not seen that uh, within the evidence, but theoretically, because their difference, just like that subtle difference may lead to differences in efficacy or safety, those subtle differences may improve efficacy or decrease safety as well. Right. So uh, another question is, how are biosimilars the same or different from biologic medications? And a lot of it has to do with um, what I've already talked about, but also the way that these drugs are approved. So for a drug to be a biosimilar to be approved, it goes through all of those analytical stages. They submit and they submit that along with at least one study that shows that it works as well or very similar to a reference product. And if that can be demonstrated that the drug looks and feels the same as the originator product and in a disease where the originator product was studied that it led to similar efficacy and safety results, then they can apply for approval. Now, with that comes a whole different uh, conversation. If a biosimilar shows that it works in one of the drugs that the originator uh, product worked on, the regulatory authorities that approve drugs throughout the world will give them all of the indications. So, it, so to give you an example, a biosimilar to Remicade, if it works in rheumatoid arthritis and it's been shown to work in a similar fashion, once it's demonstrated that, it will get approved for Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, and all of the other diseases that Remicade is approved to, uh, with. So that's something that we call extrapolation. You're going to say, well, if it works in this, it's going to work in all of these others. Now, there's a couple of terms that, you, 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 that we just want to go over. So we're going to talk about switching tonight, and that generally refers to a one-time change from your reference biologic, the one that you're on, to a biosimilar. And that's different than interchangeability. Um, interchangeability means that, you, that uh, the pharmacist, for example, has the ability at the pharmacy level to take a prescription and change it to another one. Um, so uh, this is within the intervention of the doctor who wrote the prescription. And that does happen for generic drugs, but it does not happen and should not be happening in Canada for biosimilars. 